Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop effect series. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can change colors seamlessly inside of Photoshop like this, from this color to this color on any image entirely. Before then, if you've not gotten your smart premium designer assets, now is the time to get yours because most of the assets I'm going to be using on my channel is going to be based on these premium assets. So images, your backgrounds and everything, you get them everything from inside of these assets. Your fonts, your 3D text and everything, name it. So do well to get yours today, right? If you've not subscribed to my channel, if you're a newbie here, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notification. Without having to say much, let's get right into it. So the first thing, this image is inside the Smart Designer Premium Assets. So I'm just going to crop this image like this. So you have many images like this inside there. So I'm just going to have this this way, right? So this is the color we want to change, the color of the shirt. So in recent times, most designers would, um, sorry, it's supposed to be white. I'm going to change this. And um, you, you want to start painting like this, change the blend mode to overlay, to rhyme and everything. Wow. But there's a simple way to do this, which I'll be showing you in this video. So the first thing you need to go is go over to adjustment layer and select hue and saturation. Now, this is the form parts. You don't need to start taking because when you are changing like this, you can see that it's making the image itself very, very funny. So we don't want to do any of this. So let me set this back to zero. And um, now there's a trick to this. Now using the hue and saturation, click on this hand here, right? And select the target color, which is this green. Now, if you notice here, this has changed, right? So you can now go over with to your hue and change the color like this. You can see how simple this is, right? Now you can move it to any direction you want to move it and um, whatever works for you actually. So I'm going to use this, um, I'm going to use somewhere along this red, right? But there's a major problem here. If I zoom close, you can see that I'm having all this white. This is the remainant of the former color that was there before. So how do you fix this? Click on, uh, um, First of all, make a selection of the image, right? So click on select subject under property. So Photoshop does the selection of the image for you, right? So it selects it well for you like this. Now, the next thing you need to do is go over to the top layer and click on adjustment, click on solid color like this while your selection is still active. But you can see it has created Just pick this color like this and um, change the blend mode to overlay. But there's also a problem with this. You can see that it has applied it to every part of the image that has red in it, right? So what you're gonna do is go over to your brush, make sure your foreground is set to black. And what you need to do is paint on this area. This is the foreground color, black. So with your brush selected, gently, Paint on I'm choosing to zoom out so I'm seeing what I'm doing clearly. Can zoom in and make yours very very precise, but I'm choosing to do mine like this. And I'm just going to review those areas that do not need those reds. Right? I'm going to reduce this brush and add some to this part here while I take away from this part here. So, this is what you have at the end of the day. So you can double click on the color and change it to a darker tone. Whichever one works for you is perfect. So when you have mistakes, this is how you can actually correct the colors when you have used you and saturation. Now let's use another image. This image again is inside the Smart Designer Premium Assets. So what do you do here? The same thing we've done, adjustment layer, Q and saturation. Click on this here, select the color, and automatically you can change it like this to any color of your choice, right? Look at how simple that is, right? So this is how you can change any color. It's either a car or the color on the building or anything. This is how you can actually change, just target the area and change the color, right? 
if you've liked this um video and you've gained something from it something positive make sure you give it a thumbs up i'll see you in the next video ciao